This is 13 News at 6. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jennifer Rabney. And I'm Patrick Simon. They are getting ready to defend themselves. Some are hiring attorneys. Some are even taking to the media. West Virginia's four remaining Supreme Court justices are facing impeachment, but it appears they won't go down without a fight. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. In the continuing West Virginia Supreme Court spending scandal, one justice has been defending herself on Facebook and in the media. Chief Justice Margaret Workman says much of the renovation to her office was for permanent fixtures, such as flooring and bookshelves. At $111,000, renovations to Walker's office were the least of any of the justices. Where I spent the money that I spent was on permanent fixtures, all the built-in cabinets, shelving and flooring that'll be here 100 years from now. Workman also says she was not against the press touring offices with lawmakers as long as the exact layout of hallways and offices were not shown for security reasons. Well, originally I think that um, our staff had talked with uh, Chairman Schott and they had agreed it wasn't a public meeting. And there really wasn't any controversy. However, I know some of the members then said they felt it should be open. And we haven't had no objection to that except for anything related to security. Meanwhile, Justice Beth Walker has now hired a law firm to defend her, and it issued a statement saying, quote, Since joining the court in 2017, Beth has been nothing but fair to everyone who has come before her, end quote. But as the process moves forward, a former delegate who helped manage the last impeachment in 1989 offered this. I think at this point it would be best if all of the justices resigned, uh, and we need to, to get new justices as soon as feasible and start over. The full house takes up the articles of impeachment on Monday. Lawmakers do have other options aside from removing justices from office. They could absolve them of any wrongdoing or take the middle ground and issue a public reprimand. Outside the state Supreme Court in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. As Mark just alluded to, the last person impeached in West Virginia was Treasurer A. James Manchin back in 1989, but he resigned before the Senate could remove him from office. Several years later, he was elected to the House of Delegates.